I think I've started to establish a rhythm with my pull-up sessions. So the first time or the first uh, approach I had with pull-ups or just like my pull sessions was I came with two sessions per week and both sessions were full, heavy, high volume and heavy weight. So that consisted of like high intensity, high volume, a lot of exercises, right? Just to hit every single part of my body. And I personally think this is a bit too much and it's not ideal for what my objectives are for now. So, and I don't think it's optimal for strength gain, especially when I want to try and juggle uh, my planche progression and my squats. So ideally, what, com- what becomes an overlap, or I guess an equilibrium that I need to reconcile with, is that pull-ups engage the lats, and the lats are a very important stabilizer with protraction and depression of the scapula when it comes down to planche. And um, if uh, the way I structure my pull-up days is I occasionally have pull-up sessions that are before my uh, planche days, right? That means that my lats are already fatigued uh, during my planche session and I'm not able to effectively display my performance and, you know, maximize the stimulus that I'm getting for those sessions. That's why I've decided to own, to, I guess, invest in one heavy day and one kind of light but somewhat more intense day, right? That means that I'm working on a bit more technique, uh, lowering the weight, but kind of having smaller um, ranges of reps. So that's why in this session, I decided to do four sets of four, but um, I dropped the weight down to 20, I think it was like 50 pounds, and I, um, I did pause pull-ups. So I got to the top and I paused for one to two seconds. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is I want to really maximize my understanding of the um, whole movement. That uh, I want to establish a nice technique. And more importantly, I think this is enough stimulus for my lats to work, to, you know, get the stimulus, get the work, while also not um, diminishing the integrity of the lats or like the prime movers of the lats in the planche progression or the planche session I'm going to have tomorrow. Now, um, normally after these really heavy sessions where I do like uh, four sets of five weighted um, high pull-ups and then like four sets of 10 normal pull-ups and then body weight rows and all that. After those sessions, my back is completely sore, right? It's a very nice feeling, but it's tiring, right? And because of that, I'm not able to, like, like I said, I just can't deliver a very ideal planche progression or like a planche session the day after. That's why by having these live sessions, I think I'm going to be able to prioritize my planche a bit more while also maintaining and slowly improving that strength in the pull movements. So I guess that's the main idea that I'm trying to uh, manifest. And Yeah, so that's basically it and I'll finish it off here.